Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Saik and we're playing uh, Shadowrun Hong Kong on hard mode and these are the adventures of Sparklight, our rigger. Last time Sparklight had invaded the Aris facility, got himself a new weapon and got himself uh, into trouble. Today we're going to go on to the next run because we still are need a, um, further cyberware. We got our first cyber lag, but that is not enough. We're taking our usual team with us uh, because no one else uh, wants to join us for free. And I feel that Gaichu is doing a very good job um, in complementing this team. So let's take the team out to our mission. And today's mission leads us uh, to the MV Nalchi. The right out to the Nalchi is nerve-wracking. Captain Yomo seems to be an expert pilot, but massive waves threaten to scuttle his small boat in every turn. Deep thunder rolls in the distance, and the edge of your vision lightning occasionally illuminates your target, the MV Nalchi. And uh, that is exactly what we're going to do. The M, uh, the Nalji was one of the missions where I also did not find like a silent or um, or non-competitive way to uh, get into the boat. We want to uh, take it over, steal uh, data, and essentially uh, there will be no easy easy way other than uh, muscling our way through. Good. So we just arrived. Isabel uh, hacked the camera feed and as you can see there are a couple of um, enemies right there. But like I said, uh, it's not that you can like position yourselves up here and then sort of snipe them down one by one. That's unfortunately not how this game works. It doesn't have that functionality built in. So, at no surprise, we have been spotted out. Like I said, it's difficult to, to not be spotted out. Good. First things first. Starting our wild reflexes. And now we are starting our drones. We have three action points now, which is great. Our drones unfortunately still have only two. That is unfortunate. Gotta take down the mage first. Doberman heals itself. And then moves into cover. All of our companions also have three um, ability points, which allows us things like this here, hasting and essentially giving an aim and accuracy buff at the same time. Moving in to deal with the mage, 22 miss. And 19. That's pretty damn good. I would like to put the sniper drone somewhere back here. Very nice. That worked out beautiful. Fortunately, now our line of sight is blocked. And there's really only limited cover here. Hmm. Moving all the way over here. Yep. 
Yeah, the cyber arm is so useful. Yet another grenade that we simply threw back. Sniper drone unfortunately doesn't have a line of sight on many of these things. So let's try to get down the contour of uh, next. There we go. Very nice. Well, that grenade missed its target quite a bit. Okay, gotta be careful with the grenades. That shoot is taking more damage from them than the, than the enemy. I think eventually the drones uh, will also get more AP, but that's probably further down the line. If I'm not mistaken, uh, that is the next drone control upgrade would allow us to do that. Perfect. All right. So first battle easily done. The last thing that I've got here, by the way. I pulled the entire ship and we kind of fought in this narrow corridor, which really sucked. Thirty-seven. Oh, my gosh. All right, I think the drone that has been hit for 37, I need to pull it back. It was the Doberman, right? Yeah, the Doberman was hit for that much. So one shot and then just move it back. The good part about it is at the end of the, uh, the combat, we're being healed for the last wound that we have suffered. Uh, and that would be 37 in this case. Good, Gaichu gets our buffs. And let's just start hacking down this mage. Wow. Yeah, let's make sure we kill the mage. Perfect. Okay, so that's good. Next up. Flanking rigor over here is probably a good idea. Before going into cover. And for some reason, the last time everyone aggroed on us, which sucked because we had like no way of um, of just bypassing them. This time it's much better. Yeah, Daichu is just taking him to town.
There we go. We can summon a spirit over there. And that's where the last enemy is at. These guys don't even react yet. All right, there we go. Hack him down. And theoretically, we should have uh, healed the Doberman wound, but apparently that is not the case. Ah, very unfortunate. Yeah, the Doberman is almost dead. That is indeed unfortunate. Well, it can still serve its purpose. Accuracy buff. And let's give Gaishu haste again. That worked quite well. Because the ship here is pretty large and you want to get close to the enemy. Moving into cover. Kaichu moves in. Probably still need to give him um, the accuracy. He's just not hitting very well. Doberman moves in. And the enemy got surprised, which is great. Maybe I was missing the security camera feed the last time. I don't know. This feels much more controlled than the last time when I was fighting it. The last time they were just like charging at me. Isabel moves in. There we go, one down. One, two, and we're moving out because I think there is still a proxy mine down there. Alright, the Doberman does nothing. Don't want to move him closer into combat. Good, time to go 
right into the back line. Unfortunately, it took a while to actually hit something. There we go. That's one hit. And another one. Isabel moves up and let's finish this guy. Very nice. There we go. Daichu gets some accuracy, and I think we can simply slay him. Yep. And yep, there we go. I just saw that our Doberman was healed for 37, so apparently all of that was one encounter. And now that we're done with it, we receive the healing back. So, but that was just the start. I mean, none of the runs is uh, that easy to simply clear the deck and nothing would happen, right? Good. Let's clear the other security guards here. I think I shoot and he is going to charge in. You know what? We don't need drones for this. Let's just kill um, him the good old fashioned way. Kill our rifle. Yeah, and we just got a fight at our hands. Time to get into control mode. I don't know how many enemies are there. They will probably all come from the south. Doberman is fully healed again, and we can move him in. As for our shaman, how about buffing everyone and then ending the turn? Oh shit, I forgot Isabel. Not the end of the world. But still, we could have done better. Another security enforcer showed up. And all of them, <laughs> all of them died. Uh, time for Overwatch. The Doberman unfortunately can't really overwatch, so we're just putting him here. Sparklight gets a buff, and we are overwatching. And Isabel could move over here. And 
we overwatch as well. Our sniper drone overwatches. Thanks to our cyber arm, this grenade means nothing to us. Interestingly enough, the doors always close at the end of uh, the turn. Let's, by the way, use a couple of our new abilities. I want to use the Ghoul Stench. Wow, 18 points of damage, and this is an ongoing effect. That seems to be a pretty good ability. Now we're again overwatching Isabel. Take a couple of shots. The Doberman takes its shots because we can't overwatch with the Doberman. And our sniper drone overwatches. Which really leaves only the mage. <laughs> this, is, this door is a death trap. It's closing every single time. Kaich is just standing there and hacking them in pieces. I'm not sure if it's intended to be played like that, by the way. But apparently we're not done yet. Moving in our sniper drone. Kaishu gets another stack of haste and some more aim. And you know what? We might as well overwatch here. Because yes, you can overwatch with a sword. Didn't really work in our favor. So, we probably got to move down here. Yeah, that's where the enemies are at. Moving the Doberman a bit closer and our sniper drone. Isabel moves in. Goblet our red shaman begins to move in. I'm trying to stand not in the middle of the doors for obvious reasons. And how about we're just overwatching, so if someone comes through the door, it's gonna get hit at least once. There was a little message, more guards arriving in one. We need to find either the alarm or whatever is keeping us in combat because this here is getting ridiculous. There's a nice little ley, ley line right here. 
on which we might be able to use. All right, there are the new guards. Once we have dealt with them, we should be fine. Moving in the Doberman. Let's see, we don't have a line of sight per se. Putting ourselves in cover and that's a heavy cover shot, but still very good odds of hitting. Could position ourselves here, but that would be very much exposed. I rather prefer if Gaichu here continues slaughtering them. Come on. Mm, that's 70% chance to hit, but apparently he is not lucky today. Continuing to hit uh, the guard. And there we go, got him down. Yeah, the problem is Sparklight is controlling two drones, so he only has one action unit, which of course makes him very, very slow. There is a sniper down here. Which we might want to take care of. One, two, three, and we're even continuing four. Perfect. Snipers usually have a really, really hard time uh, once you are in melee because the weapon is extremely inaccurate uh, in, on short distances. All right, that's one down. Two down and let's reload. Grenade launcher is just so so strong. Upgrading or giving aim to the drone. No one needs healing, uh, which means we might as well get our power fantasies going and position ourselves in the middle of the circle. Um what? If this guy, if we continue being in combat, I'll summon the Red Spirit. Because I've uh, not seen this one so far. Kaichu continues uh, to fight against the sniper. One hit, two hits. We're moving in. All right, and I don't know. I think we're we're good to go. Uh, we're good here. I think that should be the last one. But yeah, I might be wrong. Increasing Gaichu's, uh, Gaichu's accuracy. Doesn't really help, apparently. There we go. 
Okay, funny. So we killed a lot of guards. We couldn't e even really start exploring. Now we got all of the cameras going for us. Perfect. Um, that's uh, all of this loot here is cash loot, and that's exactly what we were looking for. Even better, grenade. A med kit. Great. I like it. I like where this is going. I'm considering keeping the med kits because they are very useful. There's really no need in selling them. Alright, and before we open that door, I think we've missed one door up here. Okay, it appears that that is all of the loot that we're getting. Uh, so let's continue with our actual mission. Which at this point is get project data and the tissue samples. And well, that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, I remember that one. Um, oh, I remember that one. That's a, uh, it's going to be a banger. So, we're taking the samples from this um, being that has been kept into stasis here. And it seems that that's a very uh, strong magical uh, being. And essentially, this gentleman here um, is working for Tigat Wright. And Tigat is a pretty double edged snake. Uh, like this guy is trying to uh, play us. He's. Um, from an elven state called Tirtangur. Um, and uh, Huon uh, Min, uh, the guy um, that we're seeing here, is trying to protect that uh, data. So um, Huon Wai essentially tells us uh, that we're being double-crossed and that the sleazy snake of an elf is trying to kill us after we deliver the data. So uh, we're now caught between a rock and a hard place because everyone wants the data and no one wants us to live. Uh, we can side up with you and why, or we're just like killing everyone. It is easiest to side up with you and why because there's going to be a huge, huge showdown that we're about to witness. Uh, because as with any good trap, you know that you're running into it, but you just don't have any chance to move, uh, to to run away. The boat ride back to Hong Kong is tense. Even Captain Jomo's jovial nature does little to lighten up the mood. The deep swarm, uh, swar a storm, swirls in the sky behind you, and although you've accomplished your mission, you wonder what's in store. Uh, once you reach Ho Chung Village. If Huang is telling the truth and uh, Tigris was ever willing to pay you, or has he um, have you been an expendable asset the whole time? What will Hyung um, offer to betray Tigris' trust? Uh, certainly his mysteries will be revealed, but how you'll learn the answers could be deadly. So that's a typical Shadowrun situation right there. Johnson kind of double crosses you and you may or may not work uh, together with another Johnson. 
But yeah, first of all, we need proof that he's actually trying to double cross us. Which he is, by the way. Um, but we still need to prove it. Can't just kill our Johnson. Good, here we are. After snooping around a bit, LTG access. Yeah, I think that was a quick run. Oh, come on, Isabel, you can do better than that. There we go. Oh, really? Well, I just didn't want to play the game. Didn't mean I want to go for a huge fight. Boy, oh boy, this is going to suck. Okay, so let's even the odds a bit. Isabel heals herself. Gotta deal with some of the ice right away. Shielding Isabel so that she takes less damage. And all we wanted is the camera feed because that will have given us evidence about the treacherous nature of the elf. Good. Isabel goes for cover. Buffing our assassin program. Oh no, this guy had yeah, that uh, had a that's, uh, he had a shield program on himself, taking less damage. So might as well go for the other uh, programs first. We are fighting one versus seven. That is not fair. There we go, let's start flanking them. Isabel is healed again, and I think we're going to win this now. Assassin program moves up, kills this guy. And we're continuing to flank the other program. There we go, finally everyone's dead. And the only thing that we wanted is this camera feed here, where uh, the elf basically admitted uh, that he is paying uh, the Hong Kong Police Department and uh, the troop uh, to assassinate us. 
So it's quite clear at this point that he's a backstabbing uh, piece of um, bullcrap. Good. Let's talk with you and why. And UNY essentially works for the corporation that has uh, worked on uh, this uh, astral project. And Tirtangir, uh, the elven state, is interested in it because it con uh, it um, it allows longevity. Good objective. Let's meet with. Uh, the treacherous snake. Good. So, he admits to the wrongdoing, and essentially, our friends from Hyung come to our aid, which is being answered by this guy calling his own friends. And we're saying, you lying bastard, no one double crosses us and lives, and that is where Things are becoming nasty. Let's get into cover. Start our wired reflexes. These are all our enemies. And we're getting the sniper drone fired up. I wish we could stay um, on the circle. But we do the second best thing, which is summoning a spirit and then going for a very solid cover. Good. We're using a couple of grenades to soften them up. Stripping armor uh, that unfortunately missed. God, his aim is horrible. The skills are good, but the aim is really, really bad. All right, aggressive stance. Hitting this guy once. Hitting this guy twice. Nice little crit there. And then going for cover ourselves. Finally, our sniper drone. That's a nice shot into open cover. And another good shot. Unfortunately, not a crit. We are using full auto. Oh wait, we get another round and they can't even react? What the hell? Okay, something is awkwardly wrong. Normally all of the other um, NPCs are supposed to act. Not even sure why they wouldn't do that. Well, whatever. And so much for double-crossing us and trying to live.
God damn it, we missed again. How is that even possible? All right, reloading. Let's take a couple of shots. That's a solid hit. And another pretty good, damn good hit. Taking our sniper drone. I'm pretty happy with the sniper drone. The Doberman does no longer really cut it. I mean, it's a good meat shield. Yeah, it hits for 10 from time to time, but it's not really overwhelmingly helpful. Now the enemies finally can take their turn and nothing really happens. I mean, we completely overwhelmed them. Normally all of them are much closer, so the last time it was an actual fight and not a one-sided stomp. And Huang's friends here, um, they have helped a lot the last time. So it was quite interesting to see the force, uh, those forces are almost strong enough to completely beat him by himself. Let's try something for fun. We're using our rat and try to summon that. So what exactly can it do? Venomous spray that travels to the next target and enemies within have minus 15 to hit. Okay, fair enough. Let's start with the venomous spray which immediately missed, so it was not very good. Not oppressed with the red yet. Gaichu moves in. Hit. Oh, come on. Ah, barely, barely. It's, um, we continue with our grenades. Well, Isabel has done good so far. Let's use our sniper drone. And those guys are indeed in a perfect position for the sniper drone. Nice, that's exactly the type of damage that we're looking for. Doberman drone moves into a flanking position. Yeah, the enemies are getting overrun by too many summonings. It's just they are outnumbered so badly with our group alone. And like I said, the uh, Wong's group easily can take them down. That was the Doberman. Like I said, the Doberman isn't really doing super well at the moment. Yeah, Wong's group is moving in, and that's fine. I've never double-crossed him as well. Good. So, the rat. debuffs accuracy of targets around it. Well, the damage is good. Very good, to be uh, honest. 16 per, per byte. 
that is quite quite good but I'm still not sure if I like the red like the normal elementals are seem to be better Good, Isabel gets some extra hit and we're continuing to use what we've used the entire time which is grenades even if that means that the red takes some damage doesn't matter one hit, two hits, three hits and back into cover. And our grenade arm has worked yet again. Such a great tool. These are not my Dobermans, uh, so Matter of fact, Wang's uh, men are taking some damage here. All right, reloading. And I think we can take out the sniper. There we go. Well, it solves the sniper problem. Let's give Isabel some haste and spark light some accuracy. And the cool part is we can now use grenades in the middle of everyone and the AI will not even be mad so if we wanted to backstep Wang this here would be softening up the enemies yet another grenade that we are throwing back <laughs> the arm is so good it's actually a really nice uh, cyber item um, when I had it on Duncan he can also have that upgrade uh, later in the game. When I had it on Duncan, I thought uh, for when I read it the first time that it wasn't really good, but I definitely needed to uh, change my opinion. It is, uh, it's one of the best items in the game. Because the enemy is using uh, grenades so damn often, Good, it seems that we're getting everyone down. Okay, perfect. So we can search the mercenaries. And that's unfortunately only uh, 200 Nguyen. By the way, we could have um, checked into the system during the fight and essentially overloaded these wires. Uh, it wasn't necessary, really. But that's another option as well. So we're handing it over. I don't want to betray him. And that means we should have... Uh, uh, we should have our payment and this ends the, uh, the run. 
That's what happens if you're betraying Sparklight. You're getting gunned down. All right, time uh, to make some money and get our next cyber limb. Plus, we might want to think about upgrading the drones. Uh, we we can't uh, yet get to S tier, so I don't want to uh, take anything but the best pot, uh, possible drones. Let's start with spending our karma. Giving the drones plus one AP, by the way, would have been also a super helpful. With the two AP, they seem to be limited. Having drones with three AP, uh, that would be huge. Good, so under intelligence, see, number six is one AP bonus. Uh, it's actually pretty damn good. Can't get that yet. So let's finish the intelligence. Next up, we're, we're getting that one AP bonus. So it's 12 karma that we need uh, for it. And then we would have overall like one, um, he has, um, Sparklight himself has three action points. He needs two to sustain the uh, jack-in in both of the drones. So it's one net um, point that he has left over. And both of the drones have three. So that would be six plus one, seven. And if the wild reflexes would actually start uh, to work like they're supposed to, then it would be even one more, so eight. We have no new messages, but we can claim our RS payment. And like I said, it was around a thousand, so 800 uh, new yen. We have nothing to post. And we're at what? Around 3,800, that's great. Good. I think some of the changes that we can do is we certainly don't need the grenades. Repair kit is okay. Med kits are fine as well, but we can sell some of that stuff. And we can certainly sell the sand blaster. We don't need a shotgun. Let's check really quick if there are any key abilities that we could use passive abilities. Haven't deeply looked into them so far. From the outfits, we also do have uh, the highest armor outfits are now available. Might be something that we uh, should spend uh, money in uh, immediately jumping from one armor to eight is huge. So, martial defense that requires key casting five. No, we, we would need way more key casting for all of these. Some of them are actually quite good. Um, like I said, once you get going with your key adept, it is super good. Let's purchase the monk armor. You can essentially use all of um, each armor set, so it, do uh, it doesn't matter. Um, they all have the same stats, so whether or not you're a street samurai or run around like a monk, it, it just has visual um, visual impacts. Let's also use our time to sell 
our old armor and the stuff that we really don't need. I would still keep the basic med, med kit. You never know. Uh, there is no such thing as, a, a thing as having too many med kits. And let's take a look at our new clo uh, line of clothing. Looks cool. Our cyber arm is covered. The other arm is still free. And we're looking a little bit like a monk. That raises our armor to 10, <laughs> which means we're really tanky now, guys. That's perfect. Psychic Moon Barak, aka Sparklight, is uh, done for today. Uh, our next uh, mission uh, will finally give us enough uh, credits to uh, purchase the second Cyberleg. And after that, I think we only have one more arm to go before we might want to invest into drones and really upgrade our drones. Thank you so much for watching. We're uh, nearing the end game in Shadow, uh, Shadowrun Hong Kong. It was a pleasure and see you in the next run. Bye bye.